Good day YouTube modeling community. Welcome to Morris Custom Model Shop as always. God bless all here. James Morris here. I finally finished the Tom Daniels build. Uh, this is the RC truck. Originally came out as the beer wagon. Uh, made quite a few changes to it. I'll start with the front. I replaced the headlights with the buckets from the old 49 Merc kit. I anodized the rear of the headlights with the red, clear red, and made uh, punched out plain clear lenses, no lines in them to go in the front. Uh, of course, you saw the motor <clears throat> in an earlier video. The pumps and pulleys and things I put on the front had to all come off and I had to grind off part of the valve covers to get this cowling to close. This thing is extremely tight. There's not much room for anything in there. Uh, I did uh, put a bulldog on the gear shift lever. That is a 1 16th scale cast pewter uh, bulldog horn hood ornament for a 1 16th scale R Mac truck. The gear shift rod is twisted wire, uh, made like uh, Repar Killer 666 showed one of his videos, and I like to thank him for that tip. Makes a real nice gear shift lever. The uh, steering wheel, I anodized the ring in blue. Uh, with clear clear blue paint to match the blue buttons in the seats and uh, I flocked the floorboards with dark blue flocking uh, put the little cups in here and the barrel for drinks right there and the barrel rings are made from aluminum furnace tape wrapped around it and I anodized the bottom of the spigot in blue to match the steering wheel and bring out the blue from the RC colors. Uh, cut out and replaced the radiators on the sides and I put a radiator grill from the radiator faceplate uh, photo etch material from Detail Master on there. Tires were replaced with a pair of hollow Goodyears from the parts box and a pair of the new M&H Race Masters from AMT on the back. I anodized the cap on the uh, fuel tanks with the blue clear. On the signs, these decals are short from the factory. They were short, so I had to paint the inside of the sign dark blue and clear it. Then put the decals on so they'd look better. Then I painted the frames in brass. I've replaced the chains and hooks on it with real chain and hooks from the craft department just some actually the, the uh, chain came from a necklace out of a dime or well it's a quarter or 50 cents machine now there's a dime when i was a kid and uh put them on like that the barrels and the bed were wood grain then the uh, barrels had the rings replaced with uh or covered up with aluminum ducting or furnace tape uh, the tail lights, I sanded those flat and put on these faceted beads that uh, are real pretty red and shiny and I thought it looked a lot better than the lens was on it. It's got the RC license plate. It, uh, about the same on the, uh, this side too. I uh, did put a black wash on the chain in there, if you can see that, that it uh, brought out the links a little better. And I've lost my grill off of this one. I'm going to make a new one put on there. It was just held on with clear clear paint. I guess I knocked it off and finishing the cab up. Give you another look at that, a little bit better look at that bulldog. Uh, about 20 some years ago, I was visiting with an old fellow in St. Petersburg, Florida. And he had a little spin casting shop set up in his barn and was uh, spin casting copies of the 116th scale R Mac. 
and building trucks and trailers and tractors and all kinds of stuff out of it to, to sell. He was selling them through Toy Trucker and Toy Farmer magazine. Uh, he did beautiful work. I, I saw one completed build he had there was a uh, cement mixer, one of those long slender cement mixers. That truck was about close three feet long and weighed about 40 pounds. But man, it was nice being all steel or all metal, white metal. Anyway, he gave me two of those. One of them, this one was broken off the base, and the other one still had the little pedestal base to go into the hood. Uh, it's amazing what you'll find out there looking around. But that's the way it turned out. Hope everybody likes it. Uh, I'm I'm pleased with it. I think it turned out good. Like I said, I did have problems getting that hood closed and do a lot of grinding inside the hood and on the valve covers. And I wouldn't recommend anybody change anything except maybe the stacks, but I even had to bring the hole forward about an eighth of an inch in order to get them to clear those stacks. So it, uh, all that detail made me a lot of work to do. So, <laughs> so there you go. If you have any questions about it or uh, whatever, leave comments, ask questions. Uh, I will be starting on the trailer now that I've got this done and out of the way. And as soon as I get something up on it, I will put up a video on that. For the time being, hope everybody has a happy new year and everybody had a good Christmas. It's James Morrison. Good night.